What's crack YouTube? It's your boy though back again with another uh reaction, rant, podcast type. Uh I'm gonna try to make it less than like eight, ten minutes, you feel me? I'm gonna talk about my Denver Nuggets winning the NBA championship in the 2022-2023 NBA season. You feel me? I I I, I want to pop it, you know what I'm saying? I want to pop my stuff, you feel me? But uh, last night, I tried to do a little, uh, I did a reaction to the ceremony and uh, the highlights. Look, I'm going to show y'all right here. Keeping it, I'm keeping the stack. Look. Look. What's cracking, YouTube? It's your boy, though. Back again. Did a, I did a reaction. Everything. Mm -hmm. Ceremony. Blocked. You know what I'm saying? So I did try to get that out there. But since everything's getting blocked, I'ma just I'm gonna just give my little rant rant diggity out, you feel me? Cause um This is a long time coming. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it a be like uh I'm kinda numb. I'm not satisfied, you feel me? Even though this is like history, you feel me? I'm not satisfied. Um, I, I I feel like we we can go get another one, and I, I don't think that's ungrateful or anything. Cause I I I enjoy this moment. This our first season healthy together, and we and we and we and we beat the odds. Everybody was against us, and we fucking prevailed, bro. So for that. I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful for Nikola Jokic. I'm very grateful for Mike Malone. I'm very grateful for Jamal Murray, Mike Porter Jr., Aaron Gordon, and all my Denver Nuggets guys. You feel me? So, I'm very excited. I feel like this is... I'm excited, but at the same time, I feel like this is more emotional for me than anything. Because it's like... How can I say this? Like, I feel like people, I feel like people still don't believe in us, man. I feel like people still doubt us. I feel like we're not given given our respect. And I want to before I even go into this. I'm sorry. Let me let me say this to the Heat. I love the Heat. Y'all was my opposition last night. I was talking crazy in this reaction. I'm mad that they blocked it, you feel me? They blocked it. Mo I tried to get them out, man. I uploaded like three times. Blocked me, man. Look. I rock with my Heat fans. My supporters that watch my videos that are Heat fans. I love y'all. I know I was talking crazy about y'all Heats. You know what I'm saying? But I had to. Y'all was my opposition, you feel me? So I had to, I had to get grimy, you feel me? I had to go crazy. But the series is over. We're not enemies no more. A new season begins. You know what I'm saying? The offseason is about to start right after the draft. Draft is in a, in a week. Well, I'm about to pump out some draft videos in a second. So I'm telling you, I'm trying to I'm trying to go crazy. But, man, I got to give my respect to the Miami Heat. Give my respect to Jimmy Butler. I called you a fraud. But you, you, you carried your team to the fucking NBA Finals. As the AC, we all really shouldn't be in an AC, but uh, I gotta give you a salute for that, man. Bam, I know I was talking crazy. I still love Bam. My opinion on Bam doesn't matter in real life, you know what I'm saying? Just because I don't have him in my top five doesn't mean he's not a good player. He's a great player, you know what I'm saying? But you know, I had to ride for my boy Nikola Jokic. But uh, yeah, I love the Heat, Eric Spoelstra, uh, Pat Riley, everybody. Heat organization. They got uh what's it, Chris Quinn as an assistant. Shout out to them. They got uh what's his name? Corey, uh what's his name? Karan Butler. How did I forget that? So shout out to the Heat, man. I fuck with the Heat. But uh let me get back to the to the nuggets and about how emotional this is for me. Uh growing up, a Nuggets fan. I was a Nuggets and a LeBron fan, and LeBron was going so crazy that I would say it misaligned who I prioritize, you feel me? 
Because it was like this. I was, I was going to Nuggets games. But I was watching LeBron, though, on a nightly basis, on a daily basis, you feel me? Like, I was a LeBron, like, I'm still a LeBron fan. I think he's the best player to touch a basketball, stuff like that. But, like, my my roots is Denver Nuggets, bro. I moved to Colorado when I was six or seven years old. And I got pictures of me as a child, as a seven-year-old, six-year-old, in a full Nuggets jumpsuit. Like, I'm outside the arena for real. Like, we posted. I remember watching us play. I remember the Mellow. I remember the Allen Iverson Mellow. The Chauncey Billups. The Earl Boykins. I got pictures with Earl Boykins. I got pictures with Chauncey. I spent the, like, when I get to later parts of my years, I'm, I'm going to explain how, how how this shit is just like, like I'm tied into the Nuggets on like a personal level, you feel me? So look, I went through that, all those eras. I went through my Ty Lawson, Manimal era, like, Bruh, for real, I'm like, I'm keeping it a bean. I was, I was, man, Taiwan Lawson, man, was a fucking dog. Andre Iguodala, like, I forgave him, you feel me? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a forgiving person, because this shit is not that serious at the end of the day. Yes, I love it, but at the end of the day, there's no point in me being disrespectful. I can talk about your know, game. I can have an opinion on what you on of the product that you put on the court but as a human being I, I i would i would attack a person's human uh human personal you feel me like i'm not gonna attack attack the person you feel me i'm gonna attack the what i see on the court but uh andre igudala uh, i felt betrayed by iggy uh i think that's what my fandom like got serious you feel me like it got like real like all right bro now i'm starting to like get pissed off you feel me iggy betrayed us to go to the opposition go to state warriors because we was playing a little too rough on on stephen wardell curry or wardell stephen curry and that shit hurt my feelings man that shit hurt my feelings he shot 40 percent from the free throw line and we play a little rough on a little point guard and he fucking crying and complaining, man. That shit, that shit really hurt me, man. Cause I really liked Iggy, bro. Especially on Two K Thirteen, he was a fucking dog on Two K Thirteen. That gold Nuggets, Andre Iguodala card. Like, come on now. Like, I'm, I'm telling you, this shit get real. Like, I'm deep in this shit for real. He did that. Then we had to go through the Quincy Miller, Jordan Hamilton days. Then we got Moody A. I remember sitting behind a bench at a Nuggets game and the fucking arena was damn near empty watching Emmanuel Moutier. This is like 2016. Watching Emmanuel Moutier, bruh, versus Dwight Powell in a regular season. Bruh, in a regular season game, the only person I knew on the Dallas Mavericks in 2016 was Dwight fucking Powell. Besides Dirk Nowitzki and shit. Dwight Powell. I'm like, bro, they ain't got no good young, exciting players. Dwight Powell. And I only know Dwight Powell because of fucking what he did in college and how athletic he was in college and shit. And he was dunking his pre-drop workouts and shit. That's in 2016, 20, what? What's that? 2016, 2015? Bro, I was 15 years old. This shit go back, bro. Watching the Moody A days. I'm a Moody A fan. I watched Moody A when he was in high school, bro. So put that two years extra. That, man, I, that was 2013. Watching Emmanuel Moutier. You feel me? Like, yeah. Then we get that young Serbian. Nikola Jokic, man. That's that's the best thing that happened to this franchise, man. Nikola Jokic. Two more years later. We get Molly Maul, man. We get Molly Maul. That shit, this is getting real emotional, bro. I ain't gonna lie. This is getting real emotional. I'm going through my whole 
every era, man. We went through the Nurkic feeling like he was better than Nikola Jokic and he deserved all the minutes. And we got his ass up out of here. Because we knew who the best player was and that was Nikola Jokic. We sent that boy Nurkic packing. Sayonara. Jokic comes in, does his thing. He's not the best player off the bat. He's just working his way up. Nobody still know who he is. Okay. Say less. We get our boy MPJ. Say less. We do good. You know what I'm saying? 2020 when we get in the bubble. Molly Mall go crazy. We lose to the goddamn Lakers. Anthony Davis shooting career high three point percentages, hitting everything he wanted. LeBron James, my GOAT, beats us to go win the championship against the Heat. If we would have won that series against the Lakers, we would have did this would have been a repeat. We would have been two, we would have been two rings up, man. We would have had two rings by now if we would have beat the Lakers back then, but it don't matter. This is part of the journey, bro. It's a part of the journey. We go two years in a row without Murray Porter Jr. Barely, they barely got to play with Aaron Gordon. Two years, we had to watch Faku Capazzo, bro. We had, to <laughs> we had Shaq Harrison, man. We had what's his name, Jordan Howard, bro. Bro. Bro, they wasn't with us watching this shit. Bryn Forbes, y'all wasn't fucking with us watching this, bro. I was watching it every night, bro. And, bro, I'm keeping the bean. People calling us not a real playoff team, all this shit, because we losing with Austin Rivers and shit as our point guard, shooting guard, whatever he want to be, starting lineup. But we knew. When Nikola Jokic was doing his thing in the playoffs still, regardless of who was on the court, putting up 30-plus points in these series that he's playing in without his two other co-stars. We knew if we got them back, bro, we going stupid far. Stupid far. Nikola Jokic is putting up 30 easy on these dudes. They tried to say Draymond clamped up Jokic, and Jokic was averaging 30. This fucking never happened, bro. Come on now. Aaron Gordon struggled in the playoffs. And look at him now. He's thriving, man. And then we get to this year. Everybody doubted us. They called us the fake first seed. All this bullshit. We go through a little slump in the last little 10 games of the season. And everybody was coming in our head, tripping on us. We beat the odds, baby. The Timberwolves, they tried to say out of all the eight seeds, who 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 was most likely to beat their uh the number one seed? And they said the Timberwolves was most likely to beat beat us if an eight seed won the series. And that was fucking false. Time for the Sun series. They said Suns and six, Suns and seven, Suns and five. <sighs> Whoop that ass. They say they're going up against the Lakers. Jokic can't stop AD. Lakers and five. Lakers and six. Swept that ass. Then they want to say we had the most boring NBA Finals, man. This is this is fucking crazy, bro. They said we had the worst NBA Finals because we whooping everybody ass and we getting shit done. Keep it a bean. We getting shit done. And YouTube, I tried to make this shit 10 minutes. It's probably going to be 20 minutes because this is real, for real. We won an NBA championship, man. You the Kola Jokic Finals MVP, Molly Maul. 
Two years. Injured. Not consistent. After the bubble, I'll keep it a bean. You can go back and watch my videos. After the bubble, next season, Jamal was looking real, you know what I'm saying? He was looking real iffy. I worried about him. I said, yo, my boy good? He on fraud alert? Is he good? He can't be tripping right now. Ain't no way he acting like this. I said that. Did I ever say I doubted him or he wasn't ever going to be the player that he is again? No. I said, hey, man, you got to get your shit together. You're not playing like the Molly Mall we know. Right now, you're on fraud alert. You got to, you, uh, even though I know you're not a fraud, you're on fraud alert. Everybody out on the outside is going to be, be seeing this. You got to get your shit together, bro. He gets injured. We don't see him for two postseasons. This year, Molly Mall beginning of the season was very, very, very slow. I'm not going to lie. Did I get frustrated a little bit? I got worried. I never said trade him. I never said we need to. I never even had uttered the words we need to think about something to do with Murray at all. I, I don't believe in that. I seen Murray. There, you can't be dropping. You can't drop 50 in the playoffs. Go crazy in the playoffs, and then people give up on you. That that doesn't make sense. We we seen who he was. He's a goat. He's a demon. He's a dog. Yes, you could be struggling. He tried to force his, you know, what I'm saying his way back into the groove and playing with Jokic. You don't need to force anything. Just be who you are and be prepared to be who you are when the time is right. Molly Maul in the beginning of the season was forcing it. This is the first time MPJ, Murray, and Aaron Gordon is really playing with each other this season. We was going through some growing pains. Murray forcing shots, trying to get himself back into his rhythm. Aaron Gordon getting phased out the offense, becoming the fourth option. Felt like, hey, man, I need to get if – if I'm not touching the ball – when I touch it, I'm going I'm to I'm have to go get my shit. And it's like, bro, we got MPJ. I fuck with MPJ. I love MPJ. Never, I, I even said in my videos, we're never going to bench him. He's never going to come off the bench for us. We're never going to trade him. He's a nugget. <laughs> That's it. He's a nugget. Aaron Gordon. We can't have two people who feel like they when they touch the ball, they need to shoot it. And we already got one of them. That's MPJ. And I love that for him. But AG... You're the best cutter in the league. The the bro, you're the best role player in the league. Like, you ain't have to force nothing. You just had to trust the process. And he did that. You feel me? And this is why this team is just so unique and you know I'm saying beautiful to fucking to to be a to support. You feel me? Like it, it's just like that. Like. I don't know how anybody can say anything other than that. Like, this is just the best team to root for. Like, we keep it, we keep it simple. It's either in this system, it's like the Warrior system. You either play hard and, and do the little things, or you go home. And that's that. It's that simple. I'm a Bones Highland fan. I love Bones to this day. I don't care that. He's not on the Nuggets no more. I don't care that he had a little squirmish beef or whatever with the team. I still love him. He a Nugget for life for me. I don't care. Still love him. But when you look at it at the end of the day, all you all you really had to do was when Jokic on the court, give him the ball, cut, hit open shots. I know, I know. I know Bones felt like he had he had that shit on him, but you know what I'm saying? We we don't need all that, you know what I'm saying? And I love Bones regardless. But um uh, Yeah. Um uh, I'm gonna just end that right there. I'm I love Bones, bruh. Forever love Bones. And I don't I ain't gonna take no disrespect from nobody about Bones, you feel me? So that's on Bones, but uh we some NBA champions, man. And uh, 
I want to go back and talk about the players on this team that are just so like so uh personal for me as a hooper as a human being it's so many personal connections i got with a lot lot of players on this team that oh i'm sorry that people don't understand you know what i'm saying and i'm about to list it off right here i've I got the whole roster bruce brown i i watched the i watched the uh, brooklyn nets my boy ben simmons is on the brooklyn nets Love, I love Ben Simmons. So I've been, I've been, I was watching the Brooklyn Nets last season when Ben Simmons got traded. I loved Bruce Brown. You know what I'm saying? KCP, you played with LeBron, won that ring. You beat us in 2020. You know what I'm saying? Christian Brown. I watched Christian Brown when I was in high school. We were both in high school. This had to be 2017. He was under the radar. Nobody really heard of him. I'm watching YouTube videos. These videos getting like 100 views, 200 views. His high school, it's his high school team versus another team, and it's the game highlights. And I'm watching him. I remember I watched a game of him, Christian Brown versus O'Shea Agbaji from the Utah Jazz. And I'm like, bro, these two guys are under the radar. They're going to blow up. I knew that. Bro, in 2017, I knew this. In 2017, when we draft, bro, when we dra before we even drafted Christian Brown, I told my pops, I'm watching the draft stuff. I'm dropping, I'm watching everything. I'm like, man, I'm not hearing no buzz about Christian Brown. That that's very very odd to me. I'm like, if he slips to my Nuggets, I guarantee he, we're picking him, and I got my father to vouch for me. I'm up. All night watching Christian Brown. I'm like, bro, this dude is him. He's a nugget. He's going to fit that mold for us. And guess what he did? Rookie year. Played very valuable minutes for us this year, man. I was right on that. See, I got a personal connection because I really be hitting on this. Nikola Jokic, Jamal Murray. I, I, I have a more personal connection with Jamal Murray because I went and watched him at a AAU tournament. That I was the younger, I was a younger player in, and in, in our downtime we watched the older players, and this is why I had the thigh maker. You go back to my video, I had the thigh maker better than Bam at a bio video because of this, because of what I'm about to talk about. Jamal Murray played on Thon Maker's team, and I was watching Thon versus Bam, and that was a very excited point of they high school like. Summer League, you know what I'm saying? And I was watching Bam verse. I'm not by Bam verse, but Bam was in Adidas. And I had, I played, no, I, did, I didn't play on the Adidas team, but my uh, coaches from my high school coached Adidas team. And I was in the Fat 48, and I was moving with them to go to Adidas games. And I watched Bam and Dennis Smith Jr. on the same team going against the top players in the country. Sit in front row. Ball is life right there. Bam dunk. They put the camera on our crew. I'm hype. So I, I got a real connection with this AAU stuff. So and Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic played on, on Team World together back in the day. Back in the day. So that's how I know them. Like, like this is a real like. I've been watching every player on this, damn near every player on this team for a long time. MPJ, watch him at uh, in high school, getting coached by Brandon Roy, Uncle Jeff. Been watching him. He's been, bro, Celtics, Super Sonics, Thunder, Nets, Cavs. Now he with my Nuggets. Like, I've been watching Uncle Jeff. Ish Smith been tossed around every team in the league. He touched down in, in Denver. We never traded him. Never put him in talks. He never in rumors. The first time, you know what I'm saying? In a very long time in his career. He gets an NBA championship with us. DeAndre Jordan, I got a pic bro, I got pictures of me, DJ, Blake Griffin, Chauncey Billups. 
spent the week with them. This is real. Like, like I, like I've been, I've been with DeAndre Jordan when I was a child, when I was in middle school, playing basketball. Basketball got me to meet all these dudes. Like, I'm meeting Blake Griffin. Like, I remember, like, I'm telling them, like, bruh, every time I get on 2K, even though I love my Nuggets, the Lob City Clippers is just so disgusting. J.J. Reddick, DeAndre Jordan, Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, Matt Barnes. Like, I'm telling them, like, bruh. <laughs> Y'all is nasty. I told DJ, like, damn, man, how can't you shoot free throws, bro? We laughing. Like, personal. Personal. Thomas Bryant. I'm from Indiana. I watch Indiana basketball sometimes. Thomas Bryant. Yogi Ferrell. Like, <laughs> bro, come on. Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson's an NBA champion, bro, in high school. My freshman year. People used to... They said I was, my twin was Bobby Schmurda, Reggie Jackson. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Reggie Jackson, they say that's my twin. They said Reggie Jackson, my twin, bro. I fuck with Reggie Jackson, been fuck with him since 2K13. I remember when the 2K13 demo came out and you played as the OKC Thunder versus the Miami Heat because that year Miami beat them boys. In the, in the NBA Finals, and Reggie Jackson was on that team, so you played with him at, on a demo. Like, come on. Come on. Come on. Aaron Gordon. Did I get to Aaron Gordon yet? I think I missed Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon, bruh. Aaron Gordon got drafted 2014, bruh. I was watching Aaron Gordon his junior year of high school. That was 12, 13 years ago. I'm 23 years old. I'm 23 years old and I was watching Aaron Gordon his junior year of high school. Junior year of high school, he was drafted in 2014. He did a year at U of A. So this is like 2011. This is what, 12, 13 years ago? I'm 11 years old, bro. I'm 23 years old and I've been watching Aaron Gordon since I was 12, 11. Like... <sighs> I fought with them so heavy, bro. I fought with this team so heavy, bro. I fought with this team so heavy, man. I love this team. Forever going to be a Nugget fan. Yes, I know I love LeBron. But I'm a, I'm a Nugget fan at heart, man. This is my first team that I ever loved. I'm more of a, I was more of a player person. Like I'm like a player person. I love LeBron, Ben Simmons. You know, I say I got my favorite players, but the Nuggets, they my favorite team, bro. That's my favorite team, and we won a, a NBA championship, man. This shit is real emotional. Real excited for the future, and uh, hopefully we can get another one next year. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna soak this off season in. Because uh, in a couple weeks, we got to get right back to it. Summer League going to start. We got to watch our Nuggets Summer League. We had, what, five rookies this year? Colin, Jack, Pate, Chris. Yeah, we had four rookies. Four, yeah, four rookies. Okay. Four rookies, NBA Championship. Then we had, look, we got a 15-man roster. Look at this. Four rookies. We had Ishmael, DeAndre Jordan, Jeff Green. Seven. That's seven players. Uncle Jeff, out of all those players, Uncle Jeff and Christian Brown was the only players that really got PT for real. Like, and, and, and Reggie Jackson. That's eight players. Like, and only two of them really got PT. So we really had like a like a like a, a eight a seven man eight man roster that was playing co constantly. And I'm not I'm not 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 trying to diminish their role on the team because DJ was a, a a pillar of this team like for relationship right reasons like great vet they was great vets. I'm not I'm not trying to like downplay them or nothing. I'm just saying they great vets, man. But man, YouTube. I'm going to soak this in for another day or so. I'm going to try to get some NBA uh, draft stuff out. 
probably react to some uh, comparison videos, things like that. Because I got my little opinion on the teams. Um, not the teams, but some of the players. I feel like uh, it's a lot of role players in this. Not very high on a lot of players. There's some players I'm very high on. Mo majority of them I'm really not. Um, yeah, y'all gonna see that in, the, in the, real, real soon. Cause uh, we we gotta go up. Or uh, I was being a little complacent for the last year or so, and uh, I th I think it's it's really time to get out there for real. But uh, this is a great little little rant. And uh, hold up, my PC just. I don't know why I just did that, but this was a great rant, and I, I just had to get my little, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, a soliloquy or whatever, had to get that little rant off and uh, get this off my chest because I love my nuggets, man, and we we did our damn thing this year, but YouTube, I'm out of here, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, man, and I'm going to catch you on the flip.